Hi everyone again, here is Mr. Safe. Today we're gonna be talking about the second part of the previous lesson, energy and devices. In this lesson, we are going to study some devices and how do they change the energy from one form to other forms. Let's get started. Here is the first electric device, which is electric lamp. Can you tell me the input and the output energy from the electric lamp? I guess you can answer right. The energy that can be used to make the electric lamp work means input energy. So the input energy in the electric lamp here is electric energy. As you can see here, the electric energy is an input energy in the electric lamp. But the produced one means output. The output energy from the electric lamp here is light and heat. What about the second device? It's the motor. The motor takes electric energy to work and convert this electric energy into kinetic energy. Where exactly we can find the motor? Simply in the core. <laughs> the core needs electric energy to work. So it takes electric energy and converts it into kinetic, the movement of the wheels in the core. So the motor changes electric energy into kinetic energy. The next part is the dynamo. We were talking about the dynamo in the previous lesson and the one before the previous lesson. So consider the third time to talk about the dynamo. It takes kinetic energy and produce electric energy. So here the dynamo is changing the kinetic energy into electric energy. We can find this the dynamo is the opposite idea of the motor. So the motor takes electric energy converted into kinetic. But the dynamo, exactly the opposite. It takes kinetic and converts it into electric. So what's the input energy in the dynamo again? It's in front of you. <laughs> the input energy is kinetic. So what about the output energy? The energy comes out from the dynamo. It's electric, as you can see here. The next one is the electric iron. Also, this is an electric device. So the input energy here is electric energy. The produced one from the electric iron is heat. The electric iron is used to convert the electric energy into heat energy. The TV, the TV is the next one. And here is the input energy. Simply, it's electric energy. Can be converted by the TV into sound and light. So the input energy is amazing, electric energy. And the output energy is sound and light. Excellent. The next one is the electric heater. Simply the electric heater takes electric energy and converts it into heat energy to warm your body in winter. The electric fan. The electric fan, also one of the electric devices. So the input energy always is electric energy. The output energy, the energy that comes out from the fan, is represented by the movement. And we said previously, movement means kinetic. So the output energy from the fan is kinetic energy. The next one is a little bit tricky, which is the electric watch. The input energy in the watch is electric energy. Then it converts the electric energy into movement. This is how does it work. The next one is the toy spring. The toy spring or the cores that may be represented by a spring, they use potential energy to work. How does it happen? You can simply twist the spring of the toy core, okay? By twisting, you are storing inside potential energy. This potential energy will be stored inside the toy core until you leave the spring. When you leave it, it's going to move, which means it's going to convert the potential energy into kinetic energy represented by the motion of the core. The handbell, one of the devices, it's not electric, but it needs energy to work. Which form of energy does it need? <laughs> exactly, it's kinetic energy. You need to move it to work. So the kinetic energy is an input energy in the hand bell. And then it can be converted into the sound that you can hear after movement of the electric bell or the hand bell. The energy produced is the sound energy, which is, can be produced after the movement of the hand bell. So the input one is kinetic energy. The output one is sound energy. Concentrate in the next part. It's the most important part in our lesson. Energy conservation. What does it mean, this word? Conservation, that's a law of energy. 
From the previous part, we can understand this. The energy can be changed from one form to another. But it cannot be created from nothing. Also, it cannot be destroyed. So the energy is just changing from form to another. But it's not created and also it's not destroyed. This is the law of energy conservation. In the energy conservation in front of you, you can find this energy can be changed from one form to other forms, but it cannot be destroyed or created. The next part is a little bit tricky, but I trust in you, you can do it. When an electric device or other devices work, the produced energy, sometimes it could be useful in its function. Let's take an example. This is the electric lamp. We said previously, it takes electric energy, so the input energy is electric one, and the produced energy is heat and light. So it produces for you two forms of energy, heat and light. But which one of them is more important in its function? Which one of them we need the electric lamp to use it? Which, which one of them is really important? Which one of them is really useful in its function? Amazing, the light. So you can find the light energy is used energy. Both actually the light and the heat are produced. But which one of them is useful? Which one of them we need it? Which one of them represents the main function of the lamp? It's represented by the light energy. So the light is used energy. What about the heat? I know the heat is produced from the lamp, but do we use it? No. So it's not used energy. It's produced like the light, but it's not used. It's not important in the main function of the electric lamp. Get it? Let's take another example, which is the hair dryer. It's one of the electric devices that work using electricity. So the input one is electric energy. The produced one is heat, sound maybe. But actually, we need to use the hair dryer or to be specific, the function of the hair dryer related to the heat energy. We use the heat energy to change our haircut style. But do we use the sound energy? I know both are produced from the hair dryer. It produces for you heat and sound. But do you use the sound? No. So the sound is not used one. It's produced, but we do not need it. We need to use the hair dryer by producing heat energy to change your haircut style. So this is the useful one. This is the used energy that we need. This is the energy that is useful energy for us. But sound energy, it's produced from the hair dryer. Unfortunately, we do not use it. Another example to simplify the idea, riding a bike. If you are riding a bike, actually the produced energy are represented by kinetic energy, the spinning of the wheels here, that's kinetic energy, and also heat energy by the friction between the tires and the ground. Okay, so how many forms of energy are produced here? Amazing, we have kinetic and also we have heat. But which one of them we need? Which one of them is the useful one? Simply, it's the kinetic energy. We are riding a bike to move. So the energy that produced and useful at the same time, it's the kinetic energy. What about the heat? Unfortunately, we do not need it. So it's produced. Yes, it's a produced. But do we use it? No. So it's not used energy. Because you were very smart in the previous lesson, I created a gift for you as usual. You can find the link of this gift below in the description of the video. It has for you 30 boxes. Inside each box, a question and some of the answers. It's represented by the cowboy style and the questions about the previous lesson as well included inside each box. Let's try one together. The electric heater changes the energy from to. So from heat to electric? No, 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 I guess it's an electric device. So it uses electric energy and produces heat. So it's a from electric to heat. Amazing! <laughs> That's the right answer. <gasps> Tell me how many questions you can solve in the comments below. Don't forget to make like, subscribe if you didn't make it. Feel free to ask me any question or to suggest a game. I can create a game for you and see you in the next lesson. <laughs> Goodbye.